Welcome to Frank Insight and our YouTube channel, Ask Frank 15. Today, we are going to take a look at greedy and lazy quantifiers in regular expressions. We're going to look at the difference between the way the two will match a series of characters as illustrated by their saved states during the matching process. Standard quantifiers are greedy by default. This means they attempt to match as much as much as possible by default. Let's look at a greedy quantifier. The script will do a single replacement for each match of the regular expression. If there are multiple matches, we'll see multiple instances of our replacement word, which represent states that have been saved by the regular expression engine. Let's take a look at the PHP script we are using. So there are two built-in functions we use here, pregmatch and pregreplace. Pregmatch is looking for a match between the filter we give it as input and the statement we give as input, and then pregreplace is going to do an insert, a replacement, for the match and for the match save state. Now let's run PHP replace. The filter we're going to use is 9 plus to demonstrate a greedy quantifier. The string to parse will be 9999. And our replacement will be 9 period. So we see only a single 9, meaning the regular expression engine matched all four characters with a single greedy expression. So the plus matches one nine, then moved on to another and another and another. Very greedy. Now let's look at non-greedy or lazy quantifiers. Our filter is going to be nine plus, and we're going to add a question mark for the lazy quantifier. Question mark appended to the end makes it lazy. The text is going to be nine 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 nine. And our placement will be 9 period. So the difference here is that we have 4 9's instead of 1. This means we have 4 different saved states that occurred. The plus does an initial match for one or more of the character 9. However, because it's lazy, it's done with only one match and it saves the state to match for the character point one, then it backtracks. The process is then repeated and the next save state is saved after that match. Again, it's lazy so it matches the least possible times and then it backtracks for more matches. This happens two more times. At no point does the plus decide it wants to match as many nines as possible because it's lazy. So we've demonstrated here lazy quantifiers by showing a series of save states. Keep in mind that there is a penalty in CPU cycles for the backtracking that is taking place with the lazy quantifier. Now let's look at lazy intervals. Our filter is going to be character class 0 to 9, and then we're going to have interval 1 to 4. We're going to add a question mark to make it lazy. String to parse is going to be 9999. Nine. For matches, we're going to do 9 period. And we have 4. This produces 9999 nine, nine, nine because the least number of matches 1 is matched and that state is stored. Then the regular expression engine backtracks and attempts another match. It makes another match and stores that. So it makes one match, backtracks to a state where it has one match, and then it looks for another one, then it backtracks to a state where it has two matches, and then it looks for another one, and so on, until there's no more string to match. Now let's look at a normal greedy interval. So 
So we're looking for one four instances of a character class with the numbers zero to nine. We have one. The greedy expression matches all four nines with a single match.